This video is going to talk about the detail section under the main category and then details. If you have any questions about this video or anything else in the shader at all, direct them to the Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Avoid asking technical questions on YouTube. It really, it's just too hard to answer there. So head on over to the Discord if you have any problems. All right, let's get started. So the detail section is for adding sort of smaller, more like, uh, I guess, tiled detail. And I'll show you that now. So the first thing I'm going to cover is the detail texture. I'm going to cover the mask at the end because it doesn't really help unless you understand what you're masking. So let's grab a detail texture. I'm just going to grab noise. Um, this brick one will probably do well. You can see that the bricks are sort of white and then the uh, the mortar between them is black. So just remember that. And on the actual material now you can see where it was white has actually brightened up in color and where it was dark has gotten darker. And that's basically what the detail texture is going to do. It's going to lighten and darken areas and you can color it as well. So if I wanted to like sort of add a green color to it, you could do that. And generally for detail stuff you want to have it pretty tiled because it's more for the smaller details that you're not going to see. Because like if you had big details, like big bricks, you would just put that in your main texture. So if I wanted to have a more, something you'd see more often, maybe you wanted to have noise like this or something like that. And you can go into the detail texture intensity and sort of mess with how intense that is. And you can, I'll switch over to the next one actually to show that because it's a little more clear. The detail intensity is going to sort of, uh, it's going to increase the intensity. So you're going to have these dark areas are going to become more dark and these light areas are going to become more light. So if I increase it, you can see those dark areas have become black and those light areas have come, have become white. This is useful if your texture, your texture just isn't quite where you want it or like maybe you have a texture where it's just not pushing it far enough or it's not or it's pushing it too far like maybe you don't want it to go bright like this so you can actually lower it so it's just a slight detail i'm going to leave this at two this one is i guess a good example of maybe it's too bright and you can't just lower the intense oops this is the wrong one you can't just lower the intensity because you still want to have those dark spots so what do you do? You could go to the next thing and lower the brightness. So this is going to make it so that you're darkening that texture and now it's actually not going to make it brighter. It's only going to make it darker. And now you, now you can see this sort of like cellular pattern start popping up. And all of these examples have been sort of vague and not, not that useful. So let's give an actual sort of useful example. So we have this sort of cushion material, but you can't really tell what the cushion's made of. It just kind of looks like a plastic. And let's fix that. So I have these, I have a leather normal map and a leather AO map, I believe. I'm not gonna use the AO map correctly. I'm just gonna throw it in the detail slot for an example, but let's do that. So I'm gonna go into the detail normal. And that works the same way the normal map does in the main category. It's just going to be for a more fine and patterned or tiled detail. I'm going to go to the detail normal. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to go to the detail texture. And I'm going to add that. Now that's going to brighten up. And I don't really want that. So I'm going to darken that. Put it back to where it was. It, and all that's going to do is sort of add these little dark spots. And for the detail normal, you can adjust the intensity just like you could a normal, the normal map up here. And that'll sort of hide and show that detail. So if I lower the detail normal entirely, you can actually see the detail texture here, adding those dark areas. And then increasing the detail normal to one, we get a, a real like leather look. So now all of a sudden we went from a sort of plastic material to a leather material and it really sort of adjusts all the specular and stuff and it looks good 
All right. Now that we've covered everything in the detail section, we can cover the mask. So it's an RGB mask. I think we're only using the red and green values currently. So wherever you draw red on the mask, let me just pull up the mask so we can get a good view of it. So this red spot is going to have the detail texture, and this blue spot is going to have the detail normal. Or no, I think it's the green spot, red and green. The green spot's going to have the detail normal, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go back to that material. You can see we threw the detail mask in here. And in the red spot, we have the detail texture. And in the green spot, we have the detail normal. So obviously, this setup doesn't really make sense. But for this texture, say you have these buttons. And you don't want the buttons to be made of leather. So you could sort of make all of this part white and then this part black, the button black, and it would add the it would add the um, <clears throat> the normals and details to just the cushion area, not the buttons themselves. And I can show you that with a black and white texture. And you can sort of see that the black area has nothing and the white area has everything. And I know I said that the red and green values are doing that, and in this case, the white values are controlling it. But that's because white actually has full red, green, and blue. So if you mix red, green, and blue, it creates white. So that's why the white areas will sort of make that show up. And we can get a, something like this, where you see it sort of it fades out into the gray areas. And that covers that. If you want to understand how to make an RGB mask, just head on over to the RGB mask and then click that tutorial. It explains how to set up RGB masks if you don't know how. All right, that covers everything in the details section. So again, if you have any questions about this, head on over to the Discord. There's a link in the description below. I uh, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.